Hello everyone, welcome back to TechnoFeed. In this video, I will be showing you what you can do with the software that comes with the DTE Source Poseidon Z Gaming Mechanical Keyboard. I also did a review on this keyboard, check it out if you haven't seen it, there will be a link in the description. So first, you will have to download the software. For that, you will need to go to Thermaltech's website and scroll all the way to the end of the page. And then just download the second one, the Poseidon Z RGB software. I will also have a link in the description. After you have finished downloading, install and open the software. At the top, you will see all the profiles for the keyboard. Now each of these profiles have different individual settings. Now what I mean is that you can have different macros on the same key but on different profiles. You can also have different illuminations for different profiles. Now this keyboard does not come with any dedicated macro keys but you can set macro to any key in the keyboard. So to set a macro first you will need to record the macro. For that you will need to go to the macro key, create new macro, the name for your macro. After that just press the record button and record the macro. After you are done stop recording. You can also edit the macro like deleting a key, adjusting delay time, ignore delay time or you can use a default delay time. To use the macro you have just recorded, you will need to assign it to a key. For that you will need to be in gaming mode. I am going to use the F1 key. Now to use the macro, we will use the T key in the key assignments. Select the macro, you can have it once, multiple times, press and hold or until next time. You really won't be needing them most of the time, but you can test what each of those does. Oh, don't forget to press the apply button. Let's test how these macros work. See, they work perfectly. Right now, I am pressing the F1 key and this whole text shows up. Another thing you can do with the software is replace one key with another key. Like you can replace your function keys with your windows key so that it is easier for you to access your multimedia keys. Now to do that, you will have to select the key you want to replace. For the sake of this video, I am going to go with the function key. Next, we will go to single key. I am going to replace it with 0. Let's see if it works. Don't forget to press the apply button. As you can see, but I am pressing the function key right now and it is being registered on the computer as 0. You can also launch programs from any key you want, although you will need to be in gaming mode for all of this to work. Because you won't be able to select the keys if you aren't in gaming mode. I'm going to use another function key and then we will select the launch program. Now you will have to just select the program. I'm going to use this application. It's a text editor but you can launch anything you want. You can have, you can launch games, your web browser, just anything you want. All you have to do now is just apply and see if it works. Right now I am pressing the function key and this text editor just pops up. And in any case, if you mess up a key, select that particular key and just use the default button. This will set the key onto its original default state. The last thing you will be able to do with this software is shift macros from one profile to another profile. By not actually shifting them, we will be using the instant shift system to do this. What this does is that it lets you access macros from another profile as long as you are pressing a specific key like shift. Let's just use the fifth profile for this video and go to instant shift profile and shift the macros from the first profile that I just set. You will see three other options below. You can use either shift, control or alt as the key to access the macros. I'm going to be using the shift key. Now let's test how this works. Right now I am pressing shift plus F1 and the macro from the first profile is working on the fifth profile. As for the illuminations of the keyboard, you will be able to customize it all in the lights option. After you go to the lights option, you will see five different modes. The first one is fully lighted. Now in the zones, you will see full where the whole keyboard will illuminate to one color and the other one is customized mode. For custom lighting, which is why everyone buys these RGB keyboards, on the base layer, you will see the default layer, but to use your custom lighting, you will need to add another set. Just add a set and click apply. You can also rename it if you want. Now, after that is done, you can use any color you want on any key you want, like this. You can add up to 5 sets to save your own custom lightings. This is a nice little feature and can be useful in times. You can also delete a set if you don't need it anymore. At the bottom you will see static which is the normal mode then there is the pulse mode which is like a breathing effect you can adjust the speed of the effect onto three different levels and lastly there is the spectrum circling where the color of the keyboard change one after another and here you also get three different levels to control the speed of the color change 
Second option is reactive mode. This is good effect if you know your way around the keyboard. This is because the key only lights up when you press it and then slowly fades away. Down in the options you can customize the lightings. You can either use the full zone to have a full solid color or you can use the customized zone if you want to have it your way. You can't control the duration a key lights up or anything like that. The third option is the arrow flow mode. This effect is similar to that of the reactive mode. The only difference being is that when you press a key, the whole line lights up. The options down below are the same as the other modes. You can have this in full mode to have a solid look or you can have this in customized mode to use a customized color. You can also control the speed of the arrow and right below you will see that there is an effect rolling thing which you should leave as it is but you can mess it with if you want you can always reset the profile now the fifth effect is the wave mode where you will see a wave of colors like rainbow and down below in the option there is nothing much to see you can control the direction you can have it either go left or go right and you can change the speed of the web to seven different levels and that is it for this effect you can do anything else the last one is the ripple mode it is the same as the reactive mode and the arrow flow mode the only difference in this mode is that the whole keyboard lights up when you press a key the options down below are also the same you can have the full solid look for the customized lighting here you also get seven different levels to control the speed of the ripple and also the effects rolling thing which you should leave as it is thank you for watching the video feel free to drop a comment subscribe if you haven't already and if you like the video give it a thumbs up